and it was prophesied by Jacob the patriarch that there would be two advents of Christ and that in the first he would suffer and that after he came there would be neither prophet nor king in your nation I proceeded and that the nations who believed in the suffering Christ would look for his future appearance and for this reason the Holy Spirit had uttered these truths in a parable and obscurely for it is said Judah your brethren have praised you your hands shall be on the neck of your enemies the sons of your father shall worship you Judah is a lion's cub from the germ my son you are sprung up reclining he lay down like a lion and like cub who shall raise him up a ruler shall not depart from Judah or a leader from his thighs until that which is laid up in store for him shall come and he shall be the desire of nations binding his foal to the vine and the foal of his ass to the tendril of the vine he shall wash his garments in wine and his vesture in the blood of the grape his eyes shall be bright with wine and his teeth white like milk moreover that in your nation there never failed either prophet or ruler from the time when they began until the time when this Jesus Christ appeared and suffered you will not venture shamelessly to assert nor can you prove it for though you affirm that Herod after whose reign he suffered was an Ashkelonite nevertheless you admit that there was a high priest in your nation so that you then had one who presented offerings according to the law of Moses and observed the other legal ceremonies also prophets in succession until John even then too when your nation was carried captive to Babylon when your land was ravaged by war and the sacred vessels carried off there never failed to be a prophet among you who was Lord and leader and ruler of your nation for the spirit which was in the prophets anointed your kings and established them but after the manifestation and death of our Jesus Christ in your nation there was and is nowhere any prophet nay further you cease to exist under your own king your land was laid waste and forsaken like a lodge in a vineyard and the statement of scripture in the mouth of Jacob and he shall be the desire of nations meant symbolically his two advents and that the nations would believe in him which facts you may now at length discern for those out of all the nations who are pious and righteous through the faith of Christ look for his future appearance